The fatal shooting of a troubled veteran opens old wounds for a Spokane Valley family. They were put in a horrible uh, position of having to take uh, his life. Well, the Spokane County Sheriff's Office has released the names of the six deputies involved in that fatal shooting last week. 23-year-old Jed Zilmer, an Army veteran, was killed during an armed standoff near the Spokane Valley Mall. The deputies who appear to have fired those weapons are Brett Hubble, Jeff Thurman, Dale Moyer, Ryan Walter, Brian Herzl, and Randy Watts. Thurman and Herzl have been involved in previous shootings. Deputy Herzl shot and killed Scott Creech at his Spokane Valley plant store in August of 2010. And KXY4, Jeff Humphrey working for you tonight at the Public Safety Building. Jeff, so all six deputies opened fire? Nadine, not all of these deputies have been formally interviewed, but a check of their weapons showed bullets missing from six different gun magazines. The appearance that a half dozen officers simultaneously opened fire suggests that all of them saw the same threat at the same time. The events that led up to Jed Zilmer getting shot lasted close to an hour, a pursuit to Coeur d'Alene and back, and during that time, Zilmer was on the phone telling dispatchers he would shoot civilians if it took too long for deputies to shoot him. Uh, the deputies on the scene uh, did the best uh, that they could to defuse the situation, and they were put in a horrible uh, position of having to take uh, his life. Several of the deputies who opened fire are also military veterans, including Randy Watts, who's been on the force for just 10 months. The officers pleaded with Zilmer not to end his young life this way. That's when Zilmer got out and pointed a gun at himself and adjusted his ballistic vest. Doing that, uh, officers opened fire because there was some kind of movement. Two of the deputies who fired had used deadly force before. Jeff Thurman shot a man shooting at him in 2007. Brian Herzl shot Scott Creech here at the plant farm in 2010. Today, Creech's son, Alan, said he was sorry for Zilmer's family. Young men make mistakes. They say things they shouldn't say. They get upset. But we got to find a way to deal with particularly veterans, uh, good people, when they're upset other than what happened here. Creech says he doesn't have enough information to comment on this latest shooting, but is still pushing for more training that teaches deputies how to de-escalate even armed standoffs. Uh, I just wish that we could come back and have different training, different methods of handling these kinds of conflicts. Whether that deals with what happened on August 25th, 2010, I, I don't want to comment on that, but uh, I'm, not, I'm not grinding an ax with Brian Herzell. Uh, he's he's an officer that's that's operating as he's been trained. Meanwhile, Ozzy Knezovich not able to talk with reporters again until the rest of those formal interviews are complete, although he is hoping to release a recording of the conversations that Mr. Zilmer was having with those 911 dispatchers as early as tomorrow. Reporting live in Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.